Are you considering buying a MetaQuest 2 VR headset? Before you do, be sure to watch this video so you know whether MetaQuest 2 will be worth it for you. What's going on everyone? I go by ASVR and I post VR related content here on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know before buying a MetaQuest 2 after owning this headset for over a year. If you're already leaning towards buying one, the first question most people ask is, which version do you buy? Currently, MetaQuest 2 comes in 128GB or 256GB version. There are a few reasons to prefer the 256 version over the 128, but I don't personally think that it's worth the extra $100 Meta is asking for. I've been using mine for over a year now, and I just got over halfway on my 128 gigs version. I'd rather use the extra $100 for buying games or accessories. If you want more detailed comparison between the 128 and the 256, check out this video here. So speaking of accessories, there are a lot of accessories you can purchase for your MetaQuest 2. Do you need extra accessories or is it unnecessary? Getting straight to the point, you definitely do not need any extra accessories to fully enjoy your VR experience. You'll be presented with face coverings, head straps, battery packs, controller grips, and many more. The only thing I do recommend getting is a comfortable head strap. You can really get a decent one for under $30 and it makes your headset secure on your head which makes the visual stable within your headset and much more comfortable when you play for an extended period of time. You can also get about 3-4 to four hours of playtime so the external battery packs are nice but definitely not necessary. If you insist, you can just play while charging with a long USB-C cable as well. Next, I quickly want to touch on the Meta account. During the recording of this video, you do need to have a Facebook account to make a MetaQuest account, but starting in August of 2022, you can now create a MetaQuest account without the need of a Facebook account. So if you don't or want Facebook, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Next, I want to talk about whether you need a gaming computer or a computer in general with your Quest 2. You should have a computer and play PC VR through a link cable only if you want to play certain games that you can only get on PC VR. Keep in mind that there is an application on Oculus Store you can buy called Virtual Desktop if you want to play PC VR without using a cable. Other than that, you will have access to so many games that run on your Quest 2, so a computer isn't necessary. Speaking of games, I'll talk about that next. There are many free and paid games available through the Oculus Store. You'll find a lot of great titles on the paid side, but they don't cost more than $40 per game and most of the games are in the $20 range. This might be a surprise to a new Quest 2 user, but there are so many amazing free games available for Quest 2, and honestly, you could exclusively play free games and have a great time. If you're new, I highly recommend checking out this video here for the 5 of the best free games available for your Quest 2 right now. Before getting into the final point, I just want to mention motion sickness. Personally, I get a lot of motion sickness in real life, but for VR games, the well-designed games give me zero motion sickness, but some of the lower quality games will make me feel sick in less than about a few minutes. If you're someone that gets motion sickness, don't worry, all of the major titles will be fine, but like I mentioned, be careful with the fast-paced lower quality games. So I want to end the video with MetaQuest 2 referral program. If you know someone that already has a MetaQuest 2, ask them for their referral code before buying because you can get free store credit to buy games or apps if you buy through their link. It's a win-win for both you and your friend as they'll also get a store credit. If you absolutely don't have anyone to help out, I'll leave my referral code here and you would help out the channel a lot by using it. That's it for the video. If you have any questions after watching this video, leave your questions in the comments below and I'll answer every single comment to the best of my abilities. If this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. Well, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.